There are an estimated 245 million children living in countries and territories affected by armed conflicts around the world. Among those affected, thousands of children, both girls and boys alike, are forced into combat and subjected to unthinkable violence. When I undertook a fact-finding mission to Africa just over a year ago, I met children in Goma. Their stories were heartbreaking. They had been denied the simple pleasure of being a kid. I listened to many tell me about being recruited by force, either themselves or their families, under the threat of violence. Others told me they were lured because of the lack of opportunities for them. As we commemorate the International Day against the use of child soldiers, also known as Red Hand Day, we are reminded that these atrocities must stop. The Canadian Armed Forces have already developed doctrine on child soldiers in order to provide specific direction on dealing with child combatants in conflict zones. This is the first document of its kind to be issued by any military in the world. Canada is also pleased to have led the development of the Vancouver Principles. To date, nearly 60 member states have endorsed this initiative that addresses the prevention and recruitment and use of child soldiers. I would be also remiss if I didn't recognize the efforts of Romeo Dallaire and his Child Soldiers Initiative who partnered with the Government of Canada to develop the Vancouver Principles. These initiatives demonstrate our strong commitment to the protection of children affected by armed conflict and to ending and preventing grave violations against children. But the fight isn't over. We need to encourage other countries to join this effort. Together, we can eliminate the use of children in armed conflict.